Alley Cats and you viewers. So on today's Spotlight Sunday, I have a movie threesome. And that's basically where I'm just talking about three movies I saw and I'm reviewing them and you get the drift and it's a sexual innuendo. Yay! The first movie I want to talk about is Get Out. This is the directorial debut from Jordan Peele, who is most well known for being part of Key and Peele. And this stars Daniel Kaluuya, I'm sorry if I butcher that name, Allison Williams, Bradley Whitford, and Katherine Keener. And it's about a man named Chris who he and his girlfriend Rose are going to meet her family. And, you know, at first he's a little nervous because he's black, Rose is white, and her family's white. So he's really nervous that they're going to think differently of him because of his race. Everything's fine until something weird happens on the way to the home. And then weird stuff just keeps happening and happening and happening. This is a very slow burning film at the beginning, but when you find out what's actually going on in this film, you're just like, wow! And it goes by so fast. It's a fascinating film. It's a fresh take on the horror genre. There are a couple of tropes. There are some jump scares, obviously, and then there's some other horror tropes I won't mention just because they're in a lot of horror films. But there is a lot about this film that is original. I loved, I won't spoil what it is, but I loved, loved, loved the twist in this film. It does require some suspension of disbelief because this twist would probably never ever happen. I'm not saying it would never happen, but it's something that probably wouldn't happen in real life. But it's very well done. The actors are fantastic, especially Daniel Kaluuya. He is amazing. He's definitely got a good career ahead of him. And Lil Rel Howery definitely has a career ahead of him. He is the funniest part of this film. And he's the total badass of this film, let me just say. I enjoyed my time with Get Out, but it is very slow burning for about the first half of the film, which will put some people off. The topic of race itself will probably put some people off. And the fact that there is tones of racism in this film will turn some people off. But like I said, it is a very inventive, fresh take on the horror genre. There are really genuinely funny moments in this film. Stuff that I found funny, which is not something that's common for me. And like I said, the performances were amazing. So my personal verdict for Get Out is 4 out of 5 stars. If it sounds interesting to you, check it out. It's an interesting take on horror genre. And it's definitely a really great directorial debut from Jordan Peele. And I can't wait to see what he comes up with next. The next film I want to talk about is Manchester by the Sea. This is Kenneth Lonergan's third film. And if you've seen any of his previous works, you know Kenneth Lonergan specializes in films that deal with emotional turmoil and how it affects the central character and characters in the story. And Manchester by the Sea is no different. And this stars Casey Affleck, who just won Best Actor at the Oscars for this role, as a man named Lee Chandler. And Lee Chandler is a janitor in Boston, and one day he receives a call saying that his brother Joe, played by Kyle Chandler, has died. So Lee has to go back to his hometown of Manchester, Massachusetts and he has to deal with his past traumas there and he has to deal with the death of his brother and the surprise that has sprung in him that he has been anointed legal guardian of his nephew Patrick who is played by Lucas Hedges and he also has to deal with his ex-wife Randy who is played by Michelle Williams and this is a very emotionally tough film to watch. There will be some people that see this film and are going Nothing's happening. I'm so bored. Oh my gosh. But there are some people this will hit really hard. I was somewhat in the middle. I enjoyed this film. I thought the performances were great. The emotional aspect of this film was phenomenal. When you finally figure out why Lee is the way he is, the way he acts, the way he acts, it hits you hard. But I didn't connect with the film as much as I thought I would. And I just, I had higher expectations for this film than what I got from it. The performances are uniformly amazing, the film is directed beautifully, and the emotional impact is really hard-hitting, but uh, like I said, some people will find this very boring, some people won't connect with this film. I loved it, but I did have a problem connecting somewhat with the film, so my personal verdict for Manchester by the Sea is 4 out of 5 stars. And the last film I want to mention in this movie review threesome is Moonlight. Again, I had very high expectations for this film because it won Best Picture at the Oscars. And I was left a little disappointed. Moonlight is about a man named Chiron and traces his life from childhood to adolescence to adulthood. And it's set up in three acts. Little, Chiron, and Black. And those are his names when he's a child, a teenager, and an adult. 
And in the first act, Little, you see how Chiron is being bullied and how he comes across Juan, who is played by Mahershala Ali, who won the Best Supporting Actor Award at the Oscars, and he totally deserves it, by the way. And how Juan and his girlfriend, Teresa, played by Janelle Monet, take in Chiron and kind of mentor him and become his unofficial godparents while his mother is being very neglectful he's still being bullied by kids at school but he has one in Teresa and they help shape him and they help teach him that it's okay to be who you are in the second act Chiron he is a teenager who is struggling to come to grips with his sexuality he's still being bullied and the fact that he's gay and how he's trying to come to terms with that is very difficult for him and you see how this impacts him. In the third installment, Black, he is now a full-grown adult and he gets a call from his childhood friend, Kevin, and they talk about what happened in their childhood and adolescence and you see how that has impacted him today and how he's finally come to terms with who he is and he's successful, but there's still a part of him that's missing. There's still a part of him that's lonely. And Chiron is actually played by three different actors. As a child, he's played by Alex Hibbert. As a teenager, he's played by Ashton Sanders. And as an adult, he's played by Trevante Rhodes. And none of these actors look alike, but their souls are all the same. And it feels natural. Like, every time you see Chiron in a different stage of his life, it just feels organic and natural. Like, you forget that these are three different actors, that this is not one person because it feels like it's one person evolving and the direction of the film is beautiful the shots are great the cinematography is just stunning and i love the symbolism of water in this film again the performances are outstanding from the three actors who play Sharon to mahershala ali naomi harris who plays Sharon's drug addicted neglectful mother but she still after all that stuff loves him more than anything else in this world janelle monet is fantastic everyone's great in this film Again, though, I had really high expectations that weren't met, and I feel like some people will be bored by this film because it is very dialogue-heavy, it's very emotional, and some people just won't connect with this film because it's not something they've dealt with, and, you know, some people just don't have that emotional connection to characters, even if they haven't experienced what the character has gone through, they can't connect to that person unless they've actually gone through that themselves. So, my personal verdict for Moonlight is 4 out of 5 stars. I thought it was really good, but it wasn't as great as I was hoping it would be. So those are my verdicts on Get Out, Manchester by the Sea, and Moonlight. They all got the same score, but they all were really good in my opinion. They won't appeal to everyone, but that's the beauty of movies. They're subjective. So if you've seen those films, let me know what you thought about them down below. Do you agree with me? Did you like them more than I did? Did you hate them? Let me know. If you like this video, you like this idea for a series, kind of, a sub-series, leave a like and make sure to share the video if you liked it because it helps my channel grow and it helps me get closer to 3,000 subscribers and I would love you forever. And if you like what you've seen and heard and you're not subscribed to my channel already, you'll see my face floating over here. You can click my face and I'll send you to my channel and make sure the bell wherever it's located on your screen is clicked because that notifies you every time I upload a new video, start a new live stream, yada yada yada. If you'd like to follow me on social media sites and see why I rate movies that maybe I don't talk about in videos, you can find all those social media sites, including Letterboxd, down below in the description box. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Peace and kisses.